just think it's more and more interesting. and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. It's me. I can't wait to get out of this house. Separate bedroom. Separate pictures. What gives here? This one doesn't have anything in the back? Alright. I'm alright now. Alright, let's have a chat. We found a receipt the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Well, let me guess where. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar. How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. So Adrian spends a lot of I'm time. I'm so nervous every time I press one. He's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? <laughs> He's getting hella aggressive. You're me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course waiting for Adrian to come home. I mean, I don't really... I don't really have anything against her. I don't have anything that I can say like, oh, you, you, you didn't or you haven't. This is probably going to be wrong. Is there oh. anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. <laughs> was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Well, we found broken glasses. That's a lie, Margaret. You know exactly what Perry was wearing because you were there. No, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Why don't you show me some proof of where I was supposed to be? Okay, but like, what am I doing now? Because I accused her of like, 
the glasses were wrong because he was wearing different glasses because there was different glasses found at the site. But at the same time, we found a fucking train ticket. But we don't know if it's for her or not. So, which one am I supposed to fucking use now? I'm gonna go with the glasses and it's probably gonna be fucking wrong. Ugh. <sighs> Are you trying to find my husband? Yeah, I'm trying to find your husband while looking at this fucking piece of paper, you dumb shit. I really don't know what to fucking select. Okay, I'm... Christian says train ticket. I think glasses. No! And I just accidentally fucking clicked. At least I know what's happened to him. I'm gonna cry. But I don't, detective. And you might not care. But that is the most terrible feeling. Oh yeah, is it the most terrible feeling? Tell the most terrible feeling is fucking up this badly. Oy, oy, oy. It's there to tell. It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Do I have anything about like different beds? No. It has a concealed message. Please hurry! My husband might be injured! Yeah, but I can't read your fucking facial expressions. Doubt? She doesn't really look away, she just looks- okay, she does, kinda. <laughs> you and your husband are in separate bedrooms. What gives? Did you want him out of the way, Margaret? Yeah, Margaret. No, Her name is Margaret? Not. My husband and I may have drifted apart. Her name is Margaret, and on the picture it said Nicole. I'm so upset. Uh, four out of six. Please do, detective. <sighs> Fuck you, Margaret. Fuck you, Bukowski. I'm upset. Let's call some bitches. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thank you. Let's go, Bukowski. I know how to make my partner drive, please. I've been doing it all game. You can drive. So, where do you want to go? Hurry up, Bukowski. Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. But stranger things have happened. What do you mean she doesn't seem the type? Chella looks like a murderer. What you talking about? Bukowski, stop talking out of your ass. Jesus. Hey, I know you. Yeah, shut no, you the don't. fuck up. Sweet tears all around, doll. You looking for someone? Where's that goddamn waitress? All these Brits? You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. Did 
Jacob Frank and Morgan? Robinson are having Who's trouble. ass? Yo, mom. Talk to me, Frank. Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot. Weird response. In blood. Do you know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. Why does he... He has, like, a Donald Trump mouth when he does this. This. Oh, my... <laughs> What is he doing? Is he making a move? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't really know what to do here. I'm gonna use a- oh, for fuck's sake, I always do this. I'm gonna use an intuition. Alright, that's not helping me. What do I have that is like- You're lying, Morgan. I don't you know, Bukowski. There. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? Oh. You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's falling for some dame in Seattle. He, he wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. Yeah, that sounds legit. How was he getting? How not? No, he's not because he still Maybe has a ticket high. at home. You guys ought to go try the terminal on Sunset. <sighs> Why am I so fucking so dumb? Isn't hurt? What's with all the blood? It's because I'm tired. I don't know. It was dark. He must have caught a nick on something. Yeah. a pig though What do you mean? Why am I not understanding any of this right now? It's so frustrating. I can't say, oh, he's lying because there's blood. Yellow. I'm gonna doubt him? We have you for oh, and good. And conspiracy. Do you want me to come up with some other charges, Morgan? Yeah, Morgan, do you want that? We bought a small hog and put it in the trunk. We got to the rail yard. I cut the pig's throat and drained the blood into a bucket. Splashed the blood all around the car. Adrian hit the pig a couple of times with the pipe to make the pipe look convincing. Doesn't add up, Morgan. Your excuses don't help. Let's see how yeah, you enjoy the LAPD taking an interest in your life. Your Probably not that much. Michelle Morgan. I say he's lying, and whatever hole he's got Adrian stashed in, he's got to go back there sometime. No, why do I have to drive? Fuck my life. Thought we were a team, Bukowski.